guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about how to use request variants in your Rails application to change the templates that you render depending on if you're on a phone, a tablet, or on the desktop. So let's take a look at Google. For example, when you go to Google, it will render the normal um, display for you know everything that they display on their homepage. But if we were to go and change this to something custom like the iPhone, it's actually gonna change the template that you see when you load Google. So by simply changing the user agent to an iPhone, it's going to display something totally different. Now, it doesn't include the version number, so it doesn't actually know what version of the iPhone or iOS that you're on, and so it renders a very simple version of that template. But we can go through and say, Okay, we're on Chrome on an iPhone, and it's going to give us um, the operating system information as well in that user agent, and it will render the more modern version of it. But you'll notice here that there's a menu bar on the side that if we refresh here, there is no menu bar. So it's got a different nav bar for the iPhone version, and this is something that's really useful when you're building complex applications like this, um, and especially if you're using Hotwire for Turbo, native um, iOS and Android apps or Electron, you can change the way that your navbar renders. You could hide it completely. You could render a different format for it. There's all kinds of different options that you can do with this. And Hey uses this. If you go to app.hey.com, you can see if we go and change our user agent to Hey iOS to match their iOS application. We can refresh and you'll see that the logo's gone, the fonts are a little bit different, and this form is at the very top instead of centered in the view.